Hello traders, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'll be discussing about a very important topic which is going to be useful for a lot of intraday traders, especially option buyers. The topic that we are going to discuss today is capital required for option buying. Now traders, trust me, this is the first and the most important concept which each and every option buyer has to know. If an option buyer is making a mistake in this first step itself, their trading journey will be very very difficult. Now one of the main reason why I decided to make this video is because in my free telegram channel, I conducted a poll. In this poll, what I asked is, what do you think is the capital required for option buying, especially per lot? Close to 1900 people voted for this. More than 72% of the people said, 10,000 to 25,000 is the capital required for option buying. 13% of the people said 25 to 50,000. Just 15% of the people said 50k plus is required per lot for option buying. After looking at this results, I decided that it is important that I make a video on the capital required for option buying. I am very confident that by the end of this video, you will get a complete understanding as to what is the capital required for option buying. I will explain this concept to you with a simple calculation. I will also provide you this excel sheet so that even you can use this. If you just follow the method what we are discussing in this video today, definitely I can tell you, you will see a complete change in your trading psychology. Now without further delay, let's start with the video. Now coming to this calculator, the first thing which we have chosen here is ATM. Now one of the most common mistake which a lot of beginners do when they bring in less capital to the market is they always try to choose OTM strike prices that is out of the money strike price. Now just as an example let's take Nifty here. Nifty is currently trading at 19,646. Exactly at this level can we enter? We cannot. We need to choose a strike price. Now let's say your view about the market is bullish you think the market will move towards the upside. That means you have to buy a call option. Now, which is the closest strike price to the current market price? 19,650 strike price is close to the current market price. So for the call option side, this will become at the money strike price. You can see it is trading somewhere around 95 rupees. Now, what is one lot size of Nifty? It is 50. 50 into 95. This is the capital required for you to execute the order. Apart from this, we have brokerage, we have stamp duty taxes and other taxes as well. Just as an example, I'm giving you. Now many beginners, what they do is instead of choosing a strike price close to the current market price, which is at the money, they might choose out of the money strike price like 19,750 or 19,900 or even 20,000 strike price because these strike prices are just trading at 10 rupees, 13 rupees, 19 rupees. So what a beginner thinks is instead of me entering a strike price close to the current market price, let me buy out of the money. All these are out of the money because the market has yet to achieve these levels, right? Only after 19,650, 19,700, 750, 800 comes. Market has yet to achieve these levels. That is why they are cheap. A beginner might think, okay, I will buy a 10 rupees premium call option. So what will be cost of one lot if the premium is 10 rupees? 50 into 10. So it is 500 rupees. So with just 500 rupees, I can enter one lot. Why should I pay and take at the money strike price? Now traders, please understand the probability of you making profit when you choose at the money strike price or these are in the money strike price for call option side. So the chances of you making profit when the market goes as per your direction, when you choose these strike prices is higher compared to you choosing out of the money strike price. In the money strike prices will have intrinsic value. The amount of time decay for these strike prices will be comparatively less than these strike prices that took closer to the expiry date. Now I have made a detailed playlist on option basics. If you go through that, I have covered almost all topic related to option trading. If you are interested, the link will be there in the description box below. Please go and have a look. The only time where out of the money strike prices make sense is for hedging purpose or if you are very very confident about your setup or some people even take hero zero trades. 
during those time you entering at out of the money strike price three times or four times that is when they make profit those kind of situation people will use but on a day to day basis if you start choosing out of the money strike price instead of in the money or at the money strike price the chances of you making profit will be comparatively low even if market is going as per your direction still you will not be able to make profits so these kind of disadvantages you will have that is why for this example i am choosing at the money strike price now for this example let's take nifty into consideration okay now traders if you see here nifty at this point of time it is trading at 19615 now what is the at the money strike price for the current market value it is 19600 that is the at the money strike price now if you see here nifty at the money strike price call option is trading somewhere around 116 rupees now what is the value of one lot one lot consists of 50 units right 50 units of nifty is equal to one lot now if i want to enter a trade with one lot of nifty at at the money strike price what will be the cost call option at the money strike price is somewhere around 117 rupees now if i just refresh the section you can see here the capital required is somewhere around 6000 rupees now to execute this order if i have 6000 rupees in my broker's account i can execute this order but apart from this capital of 6000 i should also keep some amount for the risk right now let's go back to this calculator here we know at the money strike price for nifty is trading around 116 rupees now what is the lot size of nifty 50 So what is the capital? The capital is around five thousand eight hundred rupees. Now, apart from this, we need to take into consideration the brokerage, the slippage, the tax, stamp duty. All these things we need to take into consideration. Only with this capital can we execute an order. We cannot. We have to determine a loss for this trade. Now, let's say I executed this order. I have to decide what is my risk. So let's say I decided twenty percent is the maximum risk I am going to take per trade. for this if i enter a trade right now so how do i calculate this 20% very simple let's go back here this is the current market price so let's say i review this order these are all the taxes fine just as an example i'm showing you i have submitted the request now since i have submitted this request you can see my order has been triggered here now 20% of this will be my overall risk per trade So what is going to be twenty percent of my order? Let's say this is the price I entered for this one one six into twenty by hundred. So twenty three rupees is my risk for this order, which is twenty percent. Let me round it off to twenty three rupees or even twenty five. We can keep here. You can see maximum risk for my particular trade is one thousand one hundred and fifty rupees, just for this one particular trade. now when my loss becomes 1150 rupees i need to exit from this trade that is the whole idea now let me just simply square off this position i just used this to show you an example now traders it doesn't matter what intraday strategy you are using right now in one particular trade if you lose more than 20% of the capital that you have invested definitely this will affect your psychology for you to recover this loss it is going to be very very difficult any strategy we should not lose more than 20% of the capital invested now this does not mean each and every trade that you take you have to risk 20% there might be some trades in which risking just 10% would be more than sufficient so instead of risking 23 rupees here maybe the risk can be just 12 or 13 rupees that is more than sufficient depending on the setup you have you have to determine the percentage of risk but make sure the risk doesn't exceed 20% of the capital invested so i hope this section is clear now traders the first and the most important thing that everybody has to understand is trading is a game of probability now what do i mean by probability this means that there is no strategy which can work 100% of the time till now even i have not seen a strategy which works 100% of the time now at the same time no one with 100% confidence can say this particular trade which i take right now will be successful if that is the case a person will put all the money that he has in one particular trade right if he is 100% confident since trading is a game of probability and anything can happen in the market that is why we determine the loss that we need to take per trade if the market goes against us 
we have to already determine what will be the loss based on that we need to exit a success of a particular strategy cannot be determined just by taking one trade or two trades you need to take series of trades to determine the success rate of a particular strategy now here you can see in this calculation i have a section called trades where i mentioned 20 this 20 is the number of trading days in a month see in a month we have 30 days if you remove saturdays and sundays maybe around 22 or 23 days we will have in a month maybe let's say there is public holiday or anything as such so at least in a month we will have 20 trading days now since we know Trading is a game of probability. We cannot say at which particular trade we will end up in profit or which trade we will end up in loss. Now let's say there is a strategy which has a success rate of 70%. So if you take 10 trades, 7 trades will be successful. But out of this 10 trades, we don't know which of the 7 trades will be successful. Only after you take all the 10 trades, you will know in which trade you made loss and which trades you made profit. Now, if a person enters the market with only capital of 10k or 15k, the initial 4 or 5 trades, if they lose continuously, the psychology will get affected and they will not stick to their trading plan. They will start making more mistakes as they keep making losses. Who knows, the first 5 trades you might be in loss, but the remaining 15 trades that you take in a month can end up in profit. A lot of people get demotivated within the first 5 trades itself. Now anyone who wants to come out of this problem, there is one simple thing that you can do. You need to be prepared for the worst situation. Now if you take a trade, what is the worst thing that can happen? You will end up in loss. That is the worst thing that will happen, right? What will be the maximum loss? In this case, I told 20%. You determine what is the maximum loss for you. Let it be 10% or 15%, that is up to you. Maximum, let's go up to 20%. Preparing for the worst means, let's say in the month of August, you will be taking 20 trades. Now at the beginning of the month itself, you decide that all these 20 trades might end up in loss. What is the maximum loss? 20%. So if you do the calculation, you will get a number. Let's take the same example. Let's say maximum you will be losing 1200 rupees per trade for the next 20 days then what will be the maximum amount that you need to have so the maximum loss per month in this case will be 23000 or 22000 if you are taking 1000 rupees loss per lot per day so in your trading account to execute an order minimum you should have 10000 rupees you should have around 20000 rupees if you are taking one trade per day for the next 20 days this amount is for the loss every day you lose 1 1000 rupees for 20 days it is 20000 right so total 30000 rupees at least you should have in your trading account now traders trust me if this kind of mindset you have every day i'm okay if i lose 1000 rupees i will just stick to my rules i will stick to my trading plan i will not lose more than 20% or 10% per trade there is no way that you will lose all the trade maybe in the month of august 10 trades might end up in profit, 10 trades might end up in loss. Whatever mistakes you, you have done in the month of August, if you try to correct it in the month of September, maybe you will end up with 13 profits, 7 loss. Like this, your accuracy keeps increasing. Please understand that trading is a journey. It is a game of probability. You will not know which trade you will end up in profit or which trade you will end up in loss. Only one thing that is there in your control is the risk that you will take per trade determine your risk per trade so that you are already prepared for the worst now those of you who just brings 10000 20000 rupees to the market if you lose one or two trades your psychology will get affected you will start making mistakes a trade in which you are making more loss you might not exit all these problems you will face but if you are already prepared for the worst and you are sticking to the rules max to max 30 to 35000 is more than sufficient if you want to trade in nifty now whatever we discussed about nifty can be applied even for bank nifty you see bank nifty at the money strike price is 45,500. It is trading at 280 rupees. 280 is the at the money strike price. What is lot size of bank nifty? It is 15. So this will be the capital per trade. You will have to determine how much percentage of this 4,200 rupees you are ready to lose. Make sure you don't lose more than 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट मीन्स हियर ऑल्सो इट विल कम समवेयर अराउंड एट हंड्रेड और नाइन हंड्रेड वॉट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ टू एटी रुपीज टू एटी इन टू ट्वेंटी बाई हंड्रेड इट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स रुपीज फॉर बैंक निफ्टी एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी पॉइंट वी हैव टू गिव पर ट्रेड right so here let's say you chose 60 rupees so what will be the maximum loss per trade it is 900 rupees if you take 20 trades by maximum you will lose 900 or 1000 it will be close to 18000 or 20000 so bank nifty you should have this capital along with this capital if you want to trade in a at the money strike price okay now for many beginners trading in one lot of nifty would be better compared to trading in bank nifty or trading in options of stocks if you trade in options of stocks you have to trade as per the lot size for stocks lot size will be very big for example for reliance 250 is the lot size is what i think now if you see at the money strike price for reliance is around 66 rupees so if you see here 66 rupees into 250 the capital that you need to execute the order will be high at the same time you have a risk of trading with more lots so here if you lose 10 points in 250 quantities then easily 2500 rupees loss you will end up very quickly at the same time capital required is more the risk also can be more that is why i would suggest nifty as the best index to trade in options once you're comfortable you can start trading in bank nifty also Now, since Nifty has stocks from all the sectors, you will not see that much of a loss compared to Bank Nifty. If there is any sudden fall or bad news in Bank Nifty, you might start seeing high volatility in Bank Nifty compared to Nifty. Nifty also have Bank Nifty stocks, but it also has stocks from other index. This will be helpful for you to create a balance in the market. So, traders, to summarize, do not trade with just ten thousand or twenty thousand in the market. Just determine what will be the capital to execute one order, and one whole month, if you lose all the trade, what will be the maximum loss? That amount also you should have in your trading account. Only then you will trade with proper risk management. If you bring in less money and you lose one or two trades, definitely. to recover that loss you will start making mistakes you will not follow the rules you will not exit the trade on time because of that quickly you will lose your capital traders now we have come to the end of this video people who voted i hope now you have understood what should be the capital for our trade how bringing in less capital to the market will affect our psychology now those of you who is not able to arrange the capital take a break from market give it some time once the capital is ready stick to the rules and trade according to that definitely you will see very good results now traders if you enjoyed this content don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you think this kind of content will be useful for your friends please share it with them now that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one